My name is Fossil, and I'll be your teacher for today. In our previous lesson, we look at the household and we look at the fair. We also look at the national income, we introduce it. And then we look at the national income accounting. We said that the fairs, they are the producers of goods and services. And then they sell these goods and services on a product market in order to get what is called income or revenue. And then we said that the households, they are the owners of the factors of production. And they sell these factors of production on a factor market in order to get what is called factor income. Now we are saying that the economy is working together or this agent are working together. Household depends on the fair, and the firms also depends on the household. So, whatsoever the fair is producing, the household consumes them. And whatsoever the household is offering, which are the factors of production, the firms are also employing them. So we are saying that they are working together. Now, Today is of no exception. We are going to continue with the terminologies. And then from the look at the circular flow model. Now, we have the household, we have explained it. But we said that they are the owners of the factors of production. When you talk about factors of production, what are we talking about? Factors of production are the resources that are employed by friends in order to produce goods and services. So ideally, we could say that factors of production are inputs that firms employ in order to produce goods and services. That one is there. So from the resource, we are saying that we have two types of markets. We have factor markets, and then we have product market. Factor market, it is a market where household sells their factors of production. And at the same time, the fair buys their factors of production. The second one is the product market. Product market is the market where the fair sells its goods and services and at the same time there's household buys its goods and services straight away from there let us look at the agents of the economy if we are talking about the agents of the economy we are talking about the entities that operate within the economy we have household as one entity if we are using the household alone, we are saying that the economy is one. It is with one agent. So it's for one sector economy. If we are working within two sector economy, it means that we have household in the question and we have friends. So a two sector economy is economy which involves both household and friends. And then we have three sector economy. If you talk about three sector economy, we are saying that it is an economy which involves the household, the firm, and the government. As soon as the government comes in, it means that we have moved from the classical school of thought into the Keshian school of thought. Because the case says that at a point of time, there should be government intervention. So if we add government to it and then we are working within three economy or three sector economy, we are saying that we have moved into the territory or the boundary of the cases. Now we have financial institutions and then we have international transactions in business. 
But our focus is going to be on a three sector for the meantime, for simplicity's sake. Now we also have close economy and an open economy. A close economy is an economy whereby there is no exports and imports. There is nothing for imports and there is nothing for exports. So in simple put, a closed economy is an economy whereby there is no international trade because international trade involves export and import. So closed economy is an economy whereby there is no international trade or no export and import. From there, let us look at open economy. Open economy is an economy whereby there is export and import. In simple put, it is an economy whereby there is an international transaction or international trade. Now from there, we are moving straight and then we are going to um, we are going to the business cycle. So we are done with the explanation of the terminologies. So we are going to look at the business. I'm um, sorry, we are going to look at the circular flow. Sorry, we are going to look at the circular flow model. The circular flow model. Now the circular flow model, we are saying that household depends on the fair and the fair also depends on the household. Please, for simplicity's sake, we are going to restrict ourselves to only the household and the fairs under the circular flow model. We are going to use only the household and then the fair. Now, let us embark on some one-minute recapitulation from our previous lesson. We realize that the household sells to the firm and also buys from the firm. The firm sells to the household and also buys from the household. I hope you are getting it. Good. Again, the household, when they sell, they get fatter income. And then when they spend, when they are buying, they have to spend. It's an expenditure. So household, when buying from the firm, in case what is called expenditure. And then when selling to the firm, get what is called factor income. When the firm is selling to the household, they get what is called revenue. And then when they are buying, they care what is called cost of production. Cost of production. It is this concept that we are going to use to draw the, uh, the circular flow. It is not difficult at all. Watch it carefully and understand it. Whilst we go to the board. Thank you. Now, the circular flow. We are saying that we have our household here. We have our firm here. Please, this one will also be here. And this one also will be here. If only you understand it, you can use it anyhow you want. Household fair. We are saying that household, they are the owners of the factors of production. And then they sell the factors of production somewhere. So we have household and we have fair. And then we have two markets. We have product markets and then we have factor markets. So let me put factor markets in. And let me put product markets in. 
So the household sells factors of production on the factor market. So they sell factors, sell <laughs> factors of production. And when they sell factors of production on the factor market, the firm has to come and buy these factors of production. So the firm also buys factors of production. So the firm also buys factors of production. When the firm buys factors of production, they use the factors of production here. They convert them into goods and services. And then they sell the goods and services on product market. So they sell goods and services. The household also can buy goods and services. The household also buys goods and services. Now you will see that it moves on and on. On and on. You give me, I give you. You give me, I give you. Take from me, I take from you. That is how the circular flow is. This is one phase of the circular flow. The second phase is the reward they get. Yes, the reward they get. So, household sells factors of production on factor markets. When they sell the factors of production on the factor market, they are going to get what is called factor income. So they are going to get factor in the factor in that is going to move from factor market onto the household. So the household is going to get what is called factor income. And then the factor income, then too, they are going to spend the factor income. Because the money that they are is what they are going to use to buy goods and services. So the household is going to buy goods and services from the product market. That is why I say that here they are buying goods and services. So here they are buying goods and services. Household are buying goods and services. Right, they are buying goods and services. So the goods and services they are buying from the product market, they are going to pay money to the fair, which is expenditure, to the household. So here's expenditure. So the household is getting fat income from here and spending the fat income on the product market. So the expenditure of the household on the product market becomes the revenue of the firm. So the firm is selling goods and services on the product market in order to get revenue from the household. To get revenue. Right. And then the revenue that the firm is getting on the product market, they two are going to use the revenue to buy factors of production. So they are going to use their revenue to buy factors of production on the factor market. So here they are buying factors of production. So when they are buying the factors of production, it will become their cost of production. So it moves on and on, on and on. 
So, once again, my name is possible. Watch out for our next lesson. Our next lesson, we are going to continue with the sum of the other terms and how to do some conversion under national income accounting. So this is the circular flow. Once again, my name is possible from Ghana. Bye-bye.